So, as usual, we'll start at the end. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of composing in motion part 55, stunned. We re-entered thinking about a meeting we had yesterday. You can't get what you want unless you ask for it. Extrovert on demand. In Improvisation 3, we went ahead and started Improvisation 3, and the big difference from Improvisation 2, which is this one, is that we took out all of this spacing. We kept telling ourselves, this feels like there's too much space. By golly, we fixed that. This is now what it sounds like. So yeah, so that's that is fixed. Let us tell you. So the way we did that is we basically picked up everything every cadence phrase and moved it over and we ended up picking a 6 16th note spacing between everything that that felt right so every and and what helped us realize or simplify is the ornamentation line is driving the whole piece so the ornamentation line consists of the scales up and down hexatonic pentatonic full major minor and then whatever number of notes there are in that up and down scale they drive the spacing of everything else. So in a way, the melody is driving the piece, and the melody is the ornamentation. And it just we carried that all the way through. So we're going to play this for you in a second. The other thing we did is that we successfully adapted our animation. We were working on this with the uncontinuous view. And remember, it looked like this. So whenever there is a B flat or a B flat octave or an A or an A octave uh, in the cadence of the backbone, it triggered those notes. So then we went today and we said, well, we're hitting it in the ornamentation all over the place. There, right there. So that was hexatonic. So we said, OK, well, we're going to show the whole thing off like this. So we feel the whole thing's a lot more dynamic, a lot more um, interesting. Uh, unfortunately or fortunately, we have knocked it down from our original 73 seconds, which was over the 60 second magic mark, and knocked it down to 38, which uh, in our experience means that this is going to intrigue people and then tick them off because they can't they want to hear more you know but what can we say what can we say it it wasn't it, it was longer but it, it wasn't holding our interest it's got to hold our interest so what we're going to do is play this for you here we go And the thing that's emerging that we like about this is 
Now that we've got the timing fixed so it stops distracting us, when we listen to the, the simple uh, animations, we're starting to hear the backbone and the, and the polyphone coming through. Um, let's put that up here. And now we can hear the backbone polyphone themes more strongly more stronger whatever so that concludes today's stream our ideas for next time are some new theme ideas and acknowledgments to miss cleo who inspired us especially with this 6 16th note uh, distinction tune in next time to see what happens do take care do come back and do keep on streaming <laughs>